Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we all shall rejoice and be glad. And this is Minister K.D. Sanders on K.D.'s Inspire, an opportunity to share the real word with real people dealing with real seasons in their life. Amen. And we just thank God for each and every one of you. Well, here we are on the special edition of K.D.'s Inspire. This is an opportunity where we are getting ready for a powerful weekend, which is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Resurrection Sunday approaching. And you know what? Let me just bring it down just a minute to show you, um, especially many pastors know this. This is a very powerful, a very important weekend in churches all across America as we speak, amen, across the world. This is a Sunday where you're going to get so many people that have never been to church before. You're going to get so many people that only come on Resurrection Sunday. You're going to get some people that are going to come from all different backgrounds, all different cultures, all different situations in their life. This will be a Sunday where it is not about how fancy your dress is, how polished your suit is. It was not about how amazing, amen, the lights are and the uh, attractions are at your church. But this is be a Sunday where if you can win one soul to Christ, then you have done a great deal. This is a Sunday where that alcoholic, that prostitute, that drug addict said, I've never been to church any other Sunday, but this is the Sunday that I'm going to find a church to go to. These are the souls that have to be reached, and these are the hearts that have to be embraced. As we approach this Resurrection Sunday, a lot of our young people are excited about the Easter egg hunts. And you know, um, I have my own thoughts about that, but it, that's not what it's about. Amen? It's not about the Easter bunny. It's not about the eggs. It is not about the candy so much, but it's about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, who shed his blood. They placed thorns upon his head. They put nails in his hands. They pierced him in his side. They put nails in his feet. They beat him and they mocked him. They hurt him. They neglected him and they abused him. And instead of retaliating on that cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. All they were doing were fulfilling the word. They were fulfilling, amen, the, the, the command from the Father. They were fulfilling the purpose of why he was here to begin with. And that same blood that he shed is the same blood that runs through our bodies today. The same blood that gives us the power over, over sickness, the power over guilt, the power over darkness. No longer does sin have dominion over our lives. That is the purpose. We are celebrating the risen Savior who they buried and they thought that it was over. They thought he was dead. They thought they walked away from the tomb, wiping their hands, saying that it's done and it's over. But our risen Savior, he got up from the grave and said that all power is in my hands. Hallelujah. And that same power is given to us through the power of the Holy Spirit that we may be able to live in freedom and not walk in bondage with the bondage of sin upon our lives. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. So before I go any further, I'm going to show you a small clip, a small um, animated clip of words that God placed in my heart to show you just real briefly the power of the blood at the cross. And what took place at the cross was not just an event for that present moment, but that same power is living through our lives today. That same power is giving us reason to worship today. That same power is running through our testimonies today as we are getting ready for Resurrection Sunday. Check out this small clip and I'll come back with you with the closing message. There's power at the cross.
Wow, praise the Lord. I'm telling you, just reading those words, I almost started to get emotional because when I think about who I was and when I think about where I was, when I think about the risen Savior that came into my life when I was dark, when I was lonely, when I was broken, when I was out there doing what I do, with no shame, no guilt, no worry, no fear. And he came into my life and he saved me from a life of death. He saved me and took those things out of my life. And now I'm able to stand here today, not forgetting where I came from, but I am able to give somebody else a testimony that the same God that delivered me is the same God that could do a great work in your life. I am no longer where I used to be. I am no longer who I used to be. I am no longer the old person because I have been covered by the blood. Brothers and sisters, there is power at the cross. Don't ever look at a person where they are now and think that they started there. But each and every one of us have a before cross story. Who were you before the cross came into your life? Who were you before the blood was shed upon your life? I'm telling you, we serve an awesome God. So as we go into this weekend, I want you to be blessed with your families. I want you to be blessed with the fellowship. Wherever church you go to, and I pray that you find a church to go to. I want you to remember the purpose of this weekend. The purpose is not to show off your attire. But the purpose is to show off your God. Hallelujah. To show off his power. And to recognize and remember that there is still power at the cross. You and I are no longer under the bondage and the dominion of sin. But we are free in the name of Jesus. I give God praise for all that he's done. And I give God praise for who he is. There may be somebody who's watching this video that says, I do not know the power of the cross upon my life. And I want to share this prayer with you. And I want you to repeat after me just real quick prayer. Amen. Father God. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you come into my life as my personal Savior. I confess that I've been walking the wrong path. I confess that I've been walking in darkness. I confess that I have been comfortable in bondage. I am asking that you come into my life, save my heart, cleanse me. Restore me, and I receive you into my life as my personal Savior. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I confess my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I declare that I am free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Well, I thank God for each and every one of you, and I thank you for those that did that special prayer. And I believe in the power of God, and I believe in the power of the cross. That is my confession. That is my belief. And I believe that I am covered by the blood. So are you. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Please feel free to visit my website at www.mdogministries.com. Please feel free to visit us at the Boulevard Church located at 623 East Walton Boulevard in the beautiful city of Pontiac, Michigan. Or just find a worship service to join. I'm telling you, God is going to bless you and God is going to do a mighty work in your life. God bless you. Stay strong. And happy Resurrection, resurrection Weekend. Amen. As we celebrate our risen Savior. God bless you.